What's up guys, Tao here. Um, it has been over a month since I built this X99 platform Hackintosh workstation. Um, today I will be sharing some insights with you guys in terms of the system stability, what kind of issue I have run into since I have the system. And um, yeah, I'll just tell you guys what's working and what it is not. And if you're interested, stay around. Um, there has been a change on amount of memory in the system. Um, I have upgraded the RAM to uh, 32 gig uh, with the Corsair uh, Vengeance LPX uh, running at 2.4 gigahertz. Um, it used to be the Crucial 16 gig RAM, now I have swapped it. I will be using that Crucial 16 for a um, Hackintosh um, kind of a media server build uh, in the coming week or weeks. Uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned. First of all, uh, to make the USB installation drive uh, boot properly on the X99 platform, you will need a special file. Uh, this file you can uh, find on this uh, website, this link. I will put the uh, URL down, down to the description so you guys can download the file. Now this, is, this file will allow the uh, USB drive to boot and install the OS, uh, Mac OS onto the X99 platform. So you will need to place the file into the EFI file uh, folder um, on your installation drive. So you need to replace the file into the uh, driver 64 uh, UEFI. So place into this folder. Now this will make the USB installation drive to boot and to install the uh, Sierra. After the installation, you will need to uh, place the same file uh, onto the uh, OS drive and then that will make the OS drive bootable. So that this is very, very important. Now next is the multi-beast installation. Uh, the following uh, options is my personal suggestion, but you can um, play around to tweak the uh, drivers if you want to, but this is my recommendation. So. Uh, the quick start, choose the uh, EFI, uh, UEFI boot mode. So that will install the, the Clover and the FIC SMC and the uh, system definition. So this will make the system to uh, do a basic boot. And uh, the drivers, now the audio driver I personally is not bothered uh, because there are a lot of issues with the, the audio drivers. So, but you know, you can use the Voodoo driver. I personally have a U USB uh, audio adapter, so that is working perfectly fine for me. Uh, now in terms of disk, I will suggest you choose the third party SATA and uh, Intel generic. And also the fake uh, SMC will be installed by default once you choose the quick start. But I will suggest you choose the uh, uh, new uh, CPU power management. And that actually will disable it, but uh, once you install the um, Clover, this actually uh, will enable the uh, native CPU power management. And also very, very important is the Voodoo TSC sync. So choose the one appropriate because this one is six core. So I'll be choosing the six core uh, network. To be honest, I've never had an issue with networks. They will, the system will, rec uh, will recognize the um, the network adapter natively, but if you want to install, install the driver according to your uh, chipset. So now the USB, I this be a tricky bit. So this the uh, this bit I had a uh, slight issues. Um, I would suggest you choose the uh, seven eight nine series USB support and um, increase the maximum port limit of nine series only if you want to go with the 99 x99 platform um, choose these two and to see how the uh, usb port perform if it recognize all the usbs and then you can tweak from there and the bootloaders will be uh, select automatically and um, this you probably not necessarily but you know if you do use nvidia graphics card uh, make sure you choose the NVIDIA web driver boot flag so that will enable the uh, web drivers so because I'm using NVIDIA so yes I will choose that uh, SST, SSDT that's for the old one now system definition A been chosen at the beginning so uh, yeah this 
you don't really need to um, worry about that. So, and then just click on build, make sure the select install drive is in the Sierra. And after that, the system will re reboot the system. You should be able to um, boot into the uh, OS uh, without any issues from there. And um, you can start uh, fine tweaks. So uh, what issues I had? Um, honestly, the big issue um, after the build, sometimes when you're not uh, using a, a system for a long while, suddenly go back into it. So the system just suddenly experience extremely slowness. Um, and also uh, the, all the USB 3 ports are not 100% detected uh, until this date. Uh, it's only uh, two USB ports which is on the same chip with the ethernet. I think it's on the same chip with Ethernet. So only those two uh, and also the USB 3 headers is properly detected, but everything else detect as USB 2. Uh, but that's not the issue. I'm 100% okay with that. So I have two front USB 3s and the two uh, rear USB 3s. So that's more than enough for me. Um, yeah. So uh, since I play around the S SHCI in the BIOS, uh, I think it was on auto, so I switched to smart auto and switched on the enable and the manual. And um, but now I settle on the smart auto uh, SHCI option within the BIOS. So now this option works the best for me right now. So, so far I have not experienced any sudden slowness uh, at all. Uh, touch wood. Um, there's no word to touch my head, so it won't happen again. Um, and also in terms of the uh, USB drivers, I personally would suggest you play around. Uh, right now, I only have the X99 USB uh, driver installed, and I think it's the uh, inject all USBs. So these USB uh, drivers are enough or adequate uh, for me and to run the system smoothly. Um, now. Everything I said, it would not affect the performance of the system in any way, a, just a small things. Um, but for now, just USB uh, 3s, two USB 3 at the back, and the uh, USB 3 headers. So I'm 100% totally okay with that. So I'm happy. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. And hopefully this video helped you guys who want to build X99 platform. Uh, you had a basic idea what to expect. Uh, going from the um, LGA 11.5 series to the X99 platform. In my opinion, it's well worth it. You just gain so much performance in terms of the core count. So four cores versus six or, or eight cores. So you get massive performance. And also hopefully this video give you guys confidence to go ahead. Uh, don't be afraid. Uh, it's not rocket science. And uh, just make sure to use the correct EFI file, which is I show you in the video, and uh, everything should be smooth. And if you like the video, please uh, click on the like and share with others. Uh, we can spread knowledge across. And if you, for some reason, didn't like the video, uh, you know what to do. And also, please don't forget to subscribe my channel uh, to keep up my um, ch video update uh, in the future. So I will sure do more video like this in the future. So um, as always, see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.